What's up guys? Welcome to Rocky Mountain Camper Vans. This is our Ram Pro Master Camper. I'm gonna walk you through it right now so you can get to camp, get things set up, and start having an awesome vacation. All right, when you first get to camp, you're gonna to wanna to turn on your propane tank so that you can power all the appliances inside. To do that, your tank is underneath the van. The valve is right here, right, tight, off, all the way, left, loose, on. You're gonna want this on the whole time you're at camp. Uh, that way you can power your hot water heater, your furnace, and your stove. But when you're driving, it does need to be off. We'll send you out with a full tank of gas, um, but if you happen to need a refill out on the road, this is where the refill is done. Um, you'll take it to a gas station where they can do that. Give us a call if you need help. The attendant will come out, attach the hose, and fill the tank for you. All right, moving back from there, this is the vent for your hot water system. It's gonna be venting out uh, exhausted propane gas when you're running the propane uh, hot water heater. So just make sure you're not parked up against any dry brush or let any little kids go running along next to it. Back from here is your water fill. To fill the water in the van, just open this up, put the hose in and fill until water starts bidding out of that weep valve. The tank is full, pull the hose out, cap this off, shut off the water. You got about 15 gallons of fresh water in these vans and a one gallon per minute pump. So you got about 15 minutes of water. So driving mode in the van looks like this. When you get to camp, you're gonna make things a little bit more comfortable. First thing you wanna do, the uh, passenger seat and driver's seat swivel, lift up, spin the chair around to the inside, and you got a comfy hangout zone. Driver's seat will do it too. Lift up the handle, spin it into place. All right, so after you get the seats flipped around, you're gonna to wanna to raise the roof in the van. Uh, before we do that though, let's talk about the vent fan and the roof. Uh, on off switch will shut it on and off and then um, there's an intake and exhaust function to this. So push the in out button to either bring air into the van or to exhaust hot air up out of the roof. You can also adjust the speed with the up or down arrows. All right, so to raise the roof, the first thing you need to do is drop down these latches in the front. Uh, please make sure you do that. Otherwise, the power roof itself will actually tear those out of their brackets. Okay, so to raise the roof after that, there is a switch over on the control panel. Push up and the roof is going to raise up. So when the top is up, you can pull the ladder down. You can store this and your bedding up in the bed, but just make sure when you're lowering the top that everything is centered in the mattress and not hanging off and pushing the tent off on either the driver's side, passenger side, or the rear of the van. Uh, bed mode looks like this. There's plenty of hangout space up there. Um, kids love that spot. It's kind of like being in a fort above the car. Um, but when it's time to hang out down here, give yourself a little bit more headroom by lifting this pad up, sliding the whole bed unit back. That way you can get to the galley, all of your cookware, and just hang out in here and have a few cocktails. So with your propane on, you've got three appliances in the van uh, that are powered by gas. The first one is your furnace, the second one is your hot water heater, and the third is your stove. For your furnace, the control unit uh, looks like this. There's three settings, off, a white fan, which is just a vent fan through the, uh, through the van with no heat, and then a little blue flame icon. To turn the heat on, switch this over to the little blue flame, and then adjust the thermostat below to get the system to kick on. It self-ignites and lights, comes out of a vent down below on the floor, and that's it. It'll keep you guys warm and toasty through the night. All right, so the van does have a hot water system in it. To get that going, you're gonna need to turn the hot water heater on. You'll see the system go from off to displaying the set temperature, uh, in this case, 130 degrees. With the propane on and your hot water system on, all you need to do is turn on your faucet to the hot water setting. You'll see a little fan kick on. You'll hear the system light and ignite. And then you'll see the heat wave icon pop on the display panel. At that point, you've got hot water coming out of the tap. So you can do dishes, take a shower, whatever you need to do with it. Beyond that, here in the uh, unit, you've got your sink, cold water tap, 
and your stove over here. To light the stove, uh, there's an igniter. Push and hold down on the star button. Push and turn the knob to the light position. Let off the igniter and get gas to cook with. Make sure you shut it off when you're done. Drop that down. You got plenty of surface to hang out. So we do load up all of the vans for you with everything you'll need to go out on the road. Up top, we got coffee cups and mugs, headlamps, a couple decks of cards, Uno, because it's the greatest game in the world. Um, plenty of dish towels, storage, coffee mugs. Plenty more storage inside. Down here with the hot water heater, cleaning supplies for the entire van. While we're down here, here's your fridge. It's a 12 volt fridge, uh, plenty of room inside. There's even a little freezer up top so you can freeze up popsicles for your hot desert hike in Utah. Don't mind if I do. Moving on from here, there is a power inverter inside this van. This will convert the 12 volt power of the van over to 110. However, you need to make sure that you turn this on when you're using it. And then when you're done, be sure and turn it off. Otherwise, it'll drain the batteries down, converting power for nothing. All right, your table set up. Just unlatches from behind the seat here. Grab the table post. Drop it into place here on the floor. Lock it down. Hanging out. So to convert your rear bench seat into your lower bed, the first thing you need to do is take your headrests out and tuck all the seat belts down into the bench. Next, come down to the front, drop down the handle, lift up the bench, pull up, push down. When you go to make the bed, we have a topper to make this a nice, even, comfortable bed for you. We've got plenty of storage in the van for you, and again, comes with everything you need inside. Linens, towels, lanterns, and in the rear, there's a completely open cabinet for you and all your gear. All right, so you've got LED lights throughout the van. The control panel is up here to the right. There's on-off switches for the lower lights and a dimmer panel next to that. And for the upper lights, there's a push button and a knob to dim the lights. There's also a hidden switch to turn them off upstairs so you don't have to climb down to the bottom to turn off the lights at night. All right, so the back of the van is not only your storage area, but it's also your bathroom, if you will. Got your shower curtain here. We've got a toilet down below. We'll get into that in just a minute. And then right here, we've got your shower. So there's a water switch. You're gonna wanna turn on down here. Shower pops out. You got cold and hot water here, as long as you've turned on the hot water inside. All right, so for your toilet, there's a compartment underneath here that opens up. You can pull the little loo out. Okay, so for lowering your top, first step is to bring your bed back down and lay it flat into the bed position. From there, make sure that any of your equipment, including the ladder, is centered and again, not pushing out on the tent. Once you've got that, come on down, hit the button, and wait for the top to drop down. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the van. I know you got plenty more questions, but we'll go over a lot more details when you come to pick it up. Until then, hope you're getting pumped. We're looking forward to seeing you.